veteran actor C.L. U. Gulliger who was best known for his iconic role in The Virginian has died aged 93. Gulliger also appeared in the 1985 horror comedy The Return of the Living Dead. He starred in films alongside some of Hollywood's greatest actors including Ronald Reagan, Paul Newman, Lee Marvine, and John Wayne. Gulliger's son, John, shared a photo of his father on his Facebook as a tribute. Diane Goldmiller, Gulliger's daughter-in-law, released a family statement which said that he died surrounded by his loving family. It read, CLU was as caring as he was loyal and devoted to his craft, a proud member of the Cherokee Nation, a rule breaker, sharp and astute and on the side, always, of the oppressed. Read more he was good humored, an avid reader, tender and kind. Loud and dangerous. Gulliger's acting career stretched across seven decades, beginning with small guest performances in 1950s television series. A mainstay of TV westerns, Gulliger starred as Billy the Kid in NBC's The Doll Man. He also had a role in Peter Bogdanovich's The Last Picture Show in 1971. His final credit was Quentin Tarantino's 2019 film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Gulliger played Deputy Sheriff Emmett Riker in The Virginian and appeared in 104 episodes. His big screen breakthrough came in the film The Killers. It turned out to be former U.S. President Ronald Reagan's final film and Gulliger's character was the last person Reagan ever shot dead before he went into politics. The film was based on a short story by Ernest Hemingway and went on to be the inspiration for Pulp Fiction Gulliger was proudly part charity. His father, grandfather, and grandmother were enrolled on the Dawes, or final allotment, role of Cherokee citizens, which was completed in 1906.